According to latest media reports, the audio has successfully tested its quick reaction surface to air system against live aerial targets from the integrated test range. Two systems were tested against two aerial targets, which met complete mission objectives of engaging the targets. The quick reaction surface to air system was tested in the final configuration, with radar mounted on a vehicle, and missiles on the launcher. According to latest media reports, the Indian Air Force will finalize the 40,000 crore rupees contract for 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets at the Defence Expo 2020 in February, and Hindustan Aeronautics is ready with the draft contract. The deal will be signed at approximately 20% cheaper than the previously quoted price, which was achieved after strict negotiations by the Price Negotiating Committee. Meanwhile, the Indian Air Force has received only 18 Tejas Mark I fighter jets from the previous order for 40 Tejas fighter jets. India is holding parallel talks with the United States and France for the co-development of a new 110 kN thrust class engine, which can operate in hot and humid climate conditions, so that a customized engine can be developed for the AMCA program. The AMCA will carry 6.5 tons of internal fuel, which is 1.8 tons more fuel carried internally by a Rafale fighter jet, and so equipping the AMCA with the right engine will help AMCA to have a combat radius of 2,000 km, without the need for mid-air refuelers during a mission, as refueling usually gives away position of the stealth fighters. The new engine will also replace the older engines on the AMCA Mark I, medium-weight fighter and Tejas Mark I-A fighter jets. Indian defense industry manufacturers have said that the least cost selection method has become the enemy of innovation, under which the lowest bidder is given a contract, and the government should replace it with the T1 selection, under which the manufacturer with the best technology should be given the contract. A number of manufacturers are not getting government contracts despite having the best technology, as their products did not qualify under the least cost selection method. Very few Indian companies are investing in research and development, as they have to keep the prices of their products low, which will lead to low quality products, which also discourages companies with superior products. According to latest media reports, India's decision to acquire the S-400 system has cast a shadow on the third India-US foundational military pact, as both the countries were holding negotiations for signing the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement, but it could not be signed during the India-US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue this week. The third agreement will allow to use US expertise on geospatial intelligence and enhance military accuracy of automated systems like cruise systems, ballistic systems and unmanned aerial vehicles. India will sign an agreement with its strategic and trade partner Oman, for cooperation in the field of maritime transport, enabling India to expand footprints in Western Indian Ocean, the Persian Gulf and Eastern Africa. The visit of Prime Minister Modi to Oman in 2018 had led to further consolidation of close ties, after which Oman allowed the Indian Navy to access its naval port.